Hey guys, it's Prince of PJVC. For today's video, I'm going to mod this RK61 from Royal Clutch. I know there's already a bunch of videos regarding this board, but I just want to share how I did mine and since my last video of RK61, it was the soldered version and it was a year ago. This time, I want to try their hotspot version and steal the RK61. <laughs> I've been satisfied from their previous version and I really wanted to mod it by not desoldering it from last year so this time is my chance. For the newbies that are trying to look for a quick mod for their RK61, come and watch this video and I'll show it step by step. Don't you worry these mods are very quick and easy to do. So we are going to do a 4 quick easy mod for your RK61. If you want to skip to the part that you are looking for, you can check the timestamp at the description and also I added it in the comment section. So for the first mod that we are going to do is the adding of foam between the PCB and the case. For the foam, I use an EVA foam and the thickness is 2mm. Adding foam under the PCB is one of the most important thing when modding your RK61. It is to dampen the sound because without it, your board will sound hollow. Since I'm using an EVA foam, it's easy to set marks for the cutting guide. You just need to press it to the area and cut the line marks to make it perfectly fit. And for the screw holes, just use the screwdriver. Take note, don't cover the area where the battery sits so whenever you are charging or using your keyboard, it will not get hot easily. For the second mod, we are going to put tape under the PCB. This is what they call Tempest mod. The purpose of this is to make your board sound poppier. For the tape, I would suggest two tapes, masking tape or painter's tape. But if you have chance to get the painter's tape, I would highly recommend it as it will not leave any marks. And this is our third mod where we lube and clip the stabilizers. The stabilizers itself are factory lube but it seems that it is not lubed well. We will remove the previous lube and add a new one. For the stem to housing we are going to use the Crytox 205 grade 0 and Permatex dielectric grease for the stabilizers wire. Since we are done with the stabilizers, the last part of the mod is changing of switches. For this one, I'm going to use the Loop Dwine Red switches of Akko. And lastly, the most awaited part, the typing sound test. 